Om Shanti, today is your 69th day of your beautiful, powerful meditation. And the blessing which comes along with this meditation tells us about how we need to be meditating powerfully enough so that we can send the powers to many souls who are actually feeling tired, who are actually not able to move ahead in this path of spirituality. So Baba says that we need to move ahead stronger. We need to surpass those hurdles ourselves and live as an example for many other souls. So first I need to fill up the power within me through meditation, through right decisions, through right karmas, by following God's guidance which we learn at Brahma Kumaris and also by getting the experience of falling down as a warrior and again getting up. And how did we get up? What was the method? What powers did it take for me to come up back again? That's what we can share with other souls who are, who are finding it difficult to move ahead. So let's understand what Baba wants us to do over here. So Baba says, may you be a bestower of knowledge and a bestower of blessings and fill weak souls souls have become quite weak who are not able to move ahead in this path with the force of powers now what are those powers you're going to discuss that also here so let's go ahead at present baba says weak souls do not have enough power to be able to take a jump what kind of jump are we talking about here see we have been taking many births and coming down the cycle coming down the ladder of birth and death and we have accomplished a lot of good things, but at the same time, we have also gathered a lot of sins with us, which has brought our stage down, our consciousness down. That's what God says, that from a divine being, you have become a dirty being, a devilish being. Devilish means to have lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy, laziness, carelessness, dishonesty, and many more negativities within us. So Baba says those things have brought you down and now it's time to take a jump because the world is going to transform and I've come down on earth to transform it. Enough is enough of this misery of my children, Baba says. So I have to come down on earth and I have to give them the right direction in this confluence age via Brahma. So God comes down and through the body of Brahma, he speaks and he gives us this divine knowledge so that we can understand what exactly we are supposed to do and how we are supposed to come out of peacelessness, come out of disorderliness in this world. Now for that, we understand that it becomes difficult for certain souls to walk this path. Yes, for that Baba says, get that knowledge, get the experience, get the powers, get the different virtues, experience them and share it with others. Live with example. So then Baba says, at present, weak souls do not have enough power to be able to take this jump. They need some extra force. So you special souls have to fill yourselves with special power. When do we do that? We do it at 4 o'clock early in the morning when we meditate with Baba or God the Father or Allah or Jehovah or whatsoever or energy or vibration you want to call him, a white source of light, the whole almighty powerful being who is complete and whole. So Baba says, they need some extra force. So you special souls will have to fill yourself with special power at this time, early in the morning, four o'clock, to enable them to take a jump. For this, as well as being a bestower of knowledge, not just give the knowledge of who you are, where you come from, where do you need to get back to, where, who is God, how is he, what does he do, when does he come on earth, how does he create this world? How does he purify this world? All that knowledge we get at Brahma Kumaris. But more than that, what is required? For this, as well as being a bestower of knowledge, what else do we need to do is, you have to become a bestower of the blessings of powers. So certain souls, they can't take the right decisions. They end up taking sinful actions and that becomes a heavy weight onto the soul because of which they are not able to move ahead. They get angry, they get pissed off and they accumulate more of sins in their life than to accumulate blessings from others. They think ill about others because they don't have the patience or the tolerance to tolerate others. So they start giving back to others negatively. 
and they started accumulating more and more of heaviness. So the power needs to be given to those souls to think clearly, to do clearly, to talk clearly, as God says, so that they don't make themselves heavier day by day. And Baba says, blessings of powers also includes the blessing of the power of acceptance and tolerance. So if we don't have acceptance, we don't have the power to face situations, then we might take certain decisions which are not going to be favorable for us in terms of karma and we might make ourselves heavy and find it difficult to move on to this path of spirituality. So the creator influences the creation. If you are a creator who has given somebody the guidance or the knowledge or connected somebody with this knowledge and connected that soul with God the Father but that soul is not able to walk ahead or move ahead then you are the creator, right? You are the master creator. So the creator influences the creation and so become a bestower of blessings and give your creation the blessings of all powers. Remind them all the powers. Tell them these are the powers you have to churn and think about them and use them at the right time, the right place and share your experiences of how to use the powers. There is now a need for this service because many souls want to learn meditation, want to walk this path but they find it difficult. Looking at the different kind of things which we imbibe the different kind of sacrifices which we do. Some people, some souls, they find it difficult to do that. How to make it easy? You can learn it at Prema Kumaris. The practical, the most scientific way of why these sacrifices are done so that we become more spiritually power, powerful in our mind and in our attitude. So, I'll leave you with this beautiful blessing. Om Shanti.